So the short story cycle is a kind of a genre or a way of putting together a story that's different from a regular novel and it's different from a short story or even an anthology of short stories. So we talked about this the other day and Tim Winton's The Turning is an example of a short story cycle. So can you tell me what makes it a short story cycle? Okay, so a short story, any short story, isn't it? It's meant to be obviously short and it's read in about the 20 minute sitting, roughly, depending, give or take. So because of that, that's why characters are limited to one to two protagonists or main characters in the short story. That's why it's a snapshot of a moment in time and everything is more intensified because they don't have the space or the time to get into depth that's why description is really, really vivid. That's why the ending is a little bit different from, say, a novel, a long story, or even a, a novella, or a TV story, or any, any, or a movie, any other kind of story, because it can have a twist at the end. It can have an open-ended finish. It can have loose ends that remain untied. It's not like a to-be-continued story, which can sometimes happen in TV show narratives, but it can have a, a question, leaving the reader with a question in their mind or something that is unresolved in their mind. Okay. And with a short story cycle, it's not just a collection of short stories like Unreal. You remember the Paul Jennings books you may have read when you were younger, Unreal. Um, unlike those, which are a collection of short stories that are unrelated to one another, a short story cycle has a little bit of an overlapping effect between the short stories that almost act like chapters but they're not chapters either because they're not happening sequentially necessarily or chronologically in the within the plot particularly with this example Tim Winton's The Turning the short story cycle is going to have little motifs that appear throughout this whole book that are reminiscent of other things that have happened throughout the book the stories are not written in the chronology of the plot. So, it says here on your handout, short story cycles are different from novels because the parts that would make up the chapters can all stand alone as a, as a short story, each individually containing a beginning, a middle and a conclusion. So someone could come pick up this book and read one of the stories and that would make sense by itself, wouldn't it? But because we're looking at it as a whole, you will see some overlaps and some motifs that reappear. When they're read as a group, there is a tension created between the ideas of the individual stories, often showing changes that have occurred over time or highlighting the conflict between two opposing concepts or thoughts. Because of this dynamic, the stories need to have an awareness of what the other stories accomplish. Therefore, the cycles are usually written within the expressed pur sorry, with the expressed purpose to create a cycle as opposed to being gathered and arranged later. Okay, so Davis is one of the academics who's been writing and talking about what a short story cycle is. And it says, Davis argues that ethnic writers find the format useful as a metaphor for the fragmentation and multiplicity of ethnic lives. Now we know that Tim Winton is an Australian author and that he deals with the concept of what Australia is. A lot in his novels because he spent a lot of time personally reflecting on this and he's very proud of his nation and he's very passionate about the environment actually done a lot of work for environmental issues himself so he's really passionate about um, retaining what we've got as a country so he brings Australia to the print story and you will see as you read through these stories some very Australian vernacular and very Australian colloquialisms that he uses to characterise his characters and also just to, sh to show the Australianness of his stories. Using the format or the genre of a short story cycle, he's able to explore some of those differing ideas and the complexities by presenting it as a fragmentation, which is what Davis says here. The fragmentation and the multiplicity. So fragmentations is things are in fragments, they're broken up. They don't necessarily go together. They don't necessarily have unity by allowing multiple impressionistic perspectives and fragmentation of simple linear history. So instead of just saying, okay, here's my story, 
at the start, this is what happens, and you know the narrative structure, the basic narrative structure, don't you, that movies follow and novels follow and nearly all stories follow, that we have the orientation first, the setting, time, characters are introduced next, then we have the complication or a series of complications that are then resolved. That's your basic narrative structure. So this is not going to follow that. Okay? That's what we call a linear structure because first this happens and then that happens and the story's all in a nice straight line and everybody's happy because it's all tidy. So by using the short story cycle, Winton is able to explore things. Let's just quickly look at the structure. So there are several methods for structuring a short story cycle. So you can go by focusing on the geographical area, which this one kind of does, but as you read through you'll realise there are a few stories that are not in the same location. It can focus on a central protagonist. Well, that, this kind of does that. There's a collective protagonist. Or it could use patterns to create coherence. Or it could just focus on storytelling. Well, I think this focuses on storytelling and to a point geographical, a geographical area and also a main central protagonist.